Hello there, Jamie Good here, tasting wine on camera. And this wine is the Haddad de Rossim clay aged white. And um, this wine has been aged in Italia, which are traditional Alentejo clay amphora. And there's a little clay sort of thing on the label there, just to, to show you. And um, so these, these terracotta that this wine is aged in are very traditional. Um, and they're making a bit of a revival. I was recently out there in um, Portugal, or recently I was in November, and I went to the Talia Festival, the Made in Clay Amphora Day at Rosim. And there were like 40 producers there from Portugal and around the world, um, exhibiting wines that had been fermented in various forms of amphora. And it's kind of cool because these wines do get some interesting character from the fermentation and aging process. And obviously some of the the, um, the white wines are made by um, fermenting on skins as well, which can be interesting. So I'm just opening this wine. This is from the um, 2018 vintage, and it's um, a blend of Verdelio, Viercino, and Alvarino. And it comes from the Alentejo and Rosima between Cuba and Vidigera in the Alentejo. And this wine um, was foot trodden. In, they've got some marble lagars, you know, these shallow fermentation vessels, and it was foot treading in those, with wild yeasts, and then aged for nine months. And actually, this, these ones were aged for nine months in clay pots of 140 litres. So these actually aren't the traditional large um, talia. Um, these, are, these are smaller um, vessels, but um, Rosim do have some talias. I think they've got around 20 of them. Uh, they make wine in those as well. So what's it like? lovely texture to this wine it's, it's fresh it's quite zippy it's bright there's a subtle sort of stony edge but overall it's very pure it's not got any deviant tastes I really like this almost like slight salinity to the wine it's fresh it's got a bit of pith um, some herbs um, really um, quite compelling and I, I love the freshness I mean for a, for a wine from a warm region this is just 13 percent alcohol so the grapes were picked appropriately early and overall I think it's a really compelling wine I think this has got lots of, of focus and, and drive and really lovely um, textural qualities of the fruit obviously no oak so it's got no intrusive foreign tastes or aromas And I think also it's a wine that will age well. So there you have it, clay aged, um, really impressive.